now the next and the last condition which we are going to discuss is right angle hypotenuse side congruence or you can say rhs congruence according to this condition if the hypotenuse and one side of the right angle triangle are respectively equal to the corresponding hypotenuse and one side of the other triangle then the two triangles are congruent let's understand this concept by an example in this condition we have two right angle triangle triangle abc and triangle pqr triangle abc is right angle at b and triangle pqr is right angle at q so in triangle abc and triangle pqr if angle b and angle q are right angle or you can say it is equals to 90 degree and if the hypotenuse of the triangle are equal that is ac equals to pr in this example and if any of the corresponding side that is corresponding base or corresponding perpendicular of these triangles are equal then we can say that the triangle is congruent so in this case if the side ab is equal to pq then we can say that triangle abc is congruent to triangle pqr by rhs congruence now let's understand the concept of rhs by an example in triangle lmn lm is equals to ln lp is the altitude and you have to show that the lp bisects mn now in triangle lmp and lnp we have lm equals to ln and as lp is the altitude so the angle lpm and angle lpn is equals to 90 degree so let's write that in triangle lpm and triangle lpn we have lm is equals to ln which is given and angle lpm is equals to angle lpn which is equals to 90 degree as lp is the altitude and it is also given in this question and we have lp is equals to lp as side lp is common in both triangle now see we have a right angle triangle and its hypotenuse are equal and one side of the triangle that is lp is equals to lp so we can say that triangle lpm is congruent to triangle lpn by rhs congruence so we can say that mp is equals to np by cpct therefore we can write lp by 6 mn